Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm making lasagna soup. This is everything you're going to need in front of me. I'm going to start by chopping up one onion. This is a great easy meal, good for leftovers. You can freeze it. It's much easier than making a regular lasagna. <clears throat> I'm just gonna add some oil to my cast iron and minced garlic, tablespoon or two. And I'm gonna get my onions in there so they can start to soften. I just have it on about a medium heat. And this is beef bouillon. I like to just add a little bit for flavor. Go ahead and give it a stir. Get that all mixed up. Once that started to heat up, I'm gonna add my ground beef. I like to go with uh, lean or extra lean just so there's less fat, because I'm not gonna be able to drain it. I'm just going to cover that again and let it go. Keep mixing it. I'm going to chop up the beef, try and get it smaller pieces as best as possible. And this you can serve, top it with any kind of cheese, ricotta, anything you have, mozzarella, parmesan. Anything goes good with it for cheese. The beef cooks up rather fast, as long as you're stirring it in between. Add some salt and pepper. Some basil I threw in there, just a pinch or two. And that's the crushed tomatoes. Tomato paste, I usually add the whole can just to get rid of it. I hate saving it. You can see it really starting to heat up there. And I'll give that a mix, get it all combined. I'm gonna add one jar of tomato sauce, any kind you like and about a cup of the uh, chicken broth. And then you're just gonna take any kind of lasagna noodle and break it up into little pieces. I stirred in between so that it didn't stick together. And I could start cooking with the pasta sauce. It's a fairly quick recipe. As long as you get everything in the pot within 15 minutes, the noodles tend to soften for 15 minutes after that. So realistically, you could be eating this within a half an hour, but the longer you let it sit, the better it is too. So depends how rushed you are on those weeknights. I added about a half a pack of the noodles. And stirring in between just to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. It was really going here, quite bubbly. But like I said, just keep stirring. So every few minutes, three to five minutes, give it a stir. I had it on about a medium heat and then I had turned it down to low. And then you're going to want to add some heavy cream, um, maybe a quarter of a cup I did here. But you could always add more, I just kind of ran out of room. 
gives it that nice color. And here I am, I'm just gonna plate it up. And like I said, you wanna serve it with any kind of cheese on top of it, works great. So there you go guys. Thanks for watching and I hope you like and subscribe for more great recipes and follow me along on my journey. Thanks.